Well, Huawei can't use Android anymore. You heard of that yet? I have. I'm getting kind of sick of it. I'm here to talk about something I care about, and that is electric vehicles, primarily with Tesla, because Elon Musk has teased that they are releasing a pickup truck later this year, which I think is going to be very interesting. It's going to have a very distorted market. There's a lot of different methods they can go with. Plus, they already have competition up on their way getting traction quickly. So today we'll be talking about what Tesla could have in store for their own pickup truck, and what could that industry mean now with EV. EVs entering it. Let's begin. So for those of you who may not know, the Rivian R1T pickup truck is one of the first electric pickups we've seen. EVs have very much been all focused on either sports cars being incredibly fast, standard sedans for everyday people who just need to get from point A to point B, SUVs like the Model X and the recently announced Model Y, which are good for bigger families, taller people who want more space, and Tesla surprisingly has already entered the semi truck game with the Tesla Semi with a lot of very interesting features and showcasing that the diversity of electric electric vehicles really can cover everything a gas vehicle can, but the one model of vehicle that's definitely noticeably absent in the Tesla lineup is the pickup truck. Rivian has beaten Tesla to the punch with vehicles that have had hands-on demos, they've let people test them out, and actually Ford, a very popular car company, has just invested half a billion dollars into Rivian to make sure they go into production so that everyone will be able to purchase one if they like. Currently prices are supposed to start at around $70,000, which is more on the high end but when it comes to Tesla launching their pickup truck, my question is what direction do they want to take it in? Do they want it to be a truck priced a bit more similarly to where the Model S and the Model X stand? As in like a bit more on the luxury side, they want to kind of go all out to show you what the possibilities of an electric pickup truck are? Or do they want to undercut Rivian as they already have with multiple vehicles showcasing electric vehicles don't have to be $70,000 cars. You can get them down to 35K or 40K depending on if you want a sedan or an SUV like the Model 3 or the Model Y. Personally, I think it might be a great incentive for people to be more excited for the pickup truck, aside from just brand loyalty. There are a ton of Tesla sheep out there that will regardless love anything Tesla announces, whether or not they're going to buy it. And I know those people exist because I've seen them, and I'm also one of them. I've never been so excited for a semi-truck to be unveiled, but because Tesla was doing it, I was excited about it, and I thought it was really cool. But no other company on Earth could potentially unveil a semi-truck that I would be, like, interested in watching the live stream for. So yeah, I don't think Tesla's perfect, but I definitely have a lot of brand recognition and brand loyalty there. When it comes to what they're doing with the pickup truck, though, I think it would be a better idea if with all of their expertise and with all of their experience designing electric cars and now more affordable electric cars, they could get their pickup truck starting at around the $50,000 mark. Elon has already teased a lot of interesting features that maybe you haven't thought about what becomes possible when you start putting electric technology into a pickup truck. Things like being able to plug in accessories on the go. So having full-size welding equipment that you could hook up to the car. It will definitely use a lot of power, but a lot of people who have pickup trucks are out in the field, they're working, they need things to get done. And now that you're gonna have an electric pickup truck, that means you have a giant lithium battery with the potential to give you a lot of power on the go. Maybe not even work stuff. It could be just camping equipment that can plug directly into the pickup truck and have it act as a generator because you've got this mobile battery pack. And without question, pickup trucks appeal more to people who are out in the field working, or like to be a bit more outdoorsy and go on adventures and do camping trips. It's a bit more intricate than simply just needing to drive from point A to point B. So I think the Tesla pickup truck will certainly take advantage of that. I still think though, they're gonna make sure it has the smartness that you would expect from an electric vehicle with cameras surrounding the whole thing. And I imagine some pretty interesting security features like having a camera, not just on the back of the car's tailgate or on the bumper, but also above the cab. That way remotely, if you wanted to, let's say you have bicycles in the back or you have things stored in the bed of the truck, you'll be able to remotely from your phone look at that camera and make sure that no one's messing with it and get notified if someone approaches the truck and starts to take things out of it. Rivian already has a ton of these interesting features on their pickup truck involving a bike lock so that you can lock up your bike if it's in the back of your truck and if someone tries to cut the line of the wire that you lock your bike up with, it will instantly send a notification to your smartphone. So I can already see the endless potential of more innovative companies, companies that are trying to 
rethink vehicles and try to make them more smart and intuitive with how you use them with your smartphone, I could see the potential of what they may add to a pickup truck. One idea I had is the fact that Tesla loves autopilot. They love cars being able to drive themselves and they believe that's going to be legal in the next few years. Whether or not I believe them, we'll find out. But one thing I do notice a lot of people doing with pickup trucks is having to back up into trailers so that they can attach them to the car with a hitch. And a lot of the time this is a difficult process because you can't see the back of your truck very well and you have to make sure with your backup camera to get your hitch lined up with the trailer just right. What if using Tesla's artificial intelligence and machine learning that they're working so hard on for their vision-based autopilot using the cameras on the back of the truck they will have a auto backup mode that essentially is able to recognize the hitch on the trailer that you're backing up towards and it will automatically angle the car exactly so that attaching the trailer to the back of the pickup truck is easier than ever because the car should do the work of the backing up and lining everything up. Just using the cameras on the back and using vision, they'll be able to line things up like that so you don't have to have a friend who has to get out of the car and wave you in and say, oh, go to the left, go to the right, come on, just get it lined up a little bit. That's totally a field that I think Tesla will try to investigate. And thanks to the unveiling of the Tesla semi-truck, we know there's possibilities of the pickup truck still having an insane amount of torque, being very, very powerful. It just won't sound the same, which will probably throw a lot of people off because they're used to having their big Ford F-150 50s make a lot of noise when you rev them up. As soon as you get in a Tesla pickup truck or a Rivian, you're not going to hear that big rumbling engine anymore. And that might be a deterrent for a lot of people, but in the long run, in the future where these things are going to be sold, eventually people will probably get used to it. My question though is do they want to take the route of big, insanely large car that's very roomy on the inside, but rather expensive, it has a lot of thrust, that has got a lot of torque power when you're going uphill and you're hauling equipment? Or do they want to go the route of kind of the Ford Ranger, you know? Pickup trucks that are functional but not insanely huge and a bit more practical. They're more affordable. They don't take up a huge amount of space. They don't rev up very loudly. I drove a Ford Ranger as my first car for many years. I got in an accident and it was totaled afterwards, but I almost kind of want to see Tesla's approach to making a more smaller compact pickup truck since Rivian has already showcased what a large electric vehicle throttled all the way to the maximum what is possible with an electric pickup truck. The Rivian's very compelling and they've done some incredible things. Would it be good for Tesla to kind of take on that exact same market or would it be better for the pickup truck to kind of come in at a lower price point and be a bit more reasonable in size not something so giant that you have to climb into as a pickup truck but maybe something everyday people would be able to look at give it a test drive say it feels normal say it feels nice be maybe a little bit closer to the Toyota Tacomas out in the world that are not enormous but still have a bed that's large enough to store basic things but also isn't so cumbersome to drive around in a parking lot and try to fit into a tiny compact parking space I feel like there's not enough pickup trucks on the road filling in that Ford Ranger market that used to be there, but I still see a lot of pickup trucks like the Ford Ranger out there. Then I'd be kind of curious if Tesla gave the electric pickup truck a more affordable option instead of pushing it up there with the Model S and the Model X on the more premium luxury vehicles because workers who are looking for pickup trucks, they're probably on a budget. They're not looking for luxury. They're looking for function and having a lower price point is certainly more functional. So the Tesla pickup truck I'm sure will look aesthetically very, very cool, but I hope that's not the priority they're focusing on. I hope they focus on the functionality, the ports on the back of the truck that you'll be able to plug into, have appliances and accessories that whether you're working or camping will be possible now because of that big battery pack you're taking with you. And they cannot so much focus on just making it like the most luxurious pickup truck you've ever seen. Because it's going to be a very bizarre market. People who are looking for an electric car, but at the same time work on a ranch and need to haul lots of equipment. I feel like that market's very distorted. Everyone in my personal life that has has a big truck, has a big pickup. They're very uninterested in electric vehicles. They're more about gas power and engines and trying to find an overlap there is going to be tricky. So I hope they take a little bit of a different route than Rivian. But what do you guys think? Now, normally this is part of the video where I would say, let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'm kind of rethinking how I interact with my audience a bit lately. So YouTube comments I found particularly toxic opposed to other sites where I interact with people. So I'm actually not going to be reading as many YouTube comments as I did in the past because I just don't find them productive and a lot of the time it just feels like trolls and people who aren't watching the video so now at the end of my videos I'm going to start saying if you want to have a further conversation about this and you want to talk more about the Tesla pickup truck tag me on Twitter or join our discord where I'm active pretty regularly and we can continue to have a conversation about it I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking anyway thank you guys for watching this is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one